a business and management coach. And um, today, I would like to talk about becoming you. I'm sure you've read so many books or seen them around, becoming this person, becoming that person, and you're wondering, who am I and how will I become me? Yes, you are who you are right now. But there's a version of you that you have not seen before. And that is your authentic self. And that is the best person you can be. That's where you can be turned and be successful. And you will see yourself being fulfilled. You've heard the story of so many people who, after achieving so much levels in life, and you know, or they tell you that you have lots of money, they still are not fulfilled. And we've heard sad stories of people ending their own lives. That's not you thinking that they're successful. So, what is success? I want to define success as being the best of yourself, doing all that God has destined you to do and achieving those goals. Yes, people have expectation of what success means. But success is what you call it. So what success means to me is not what success means to you. For some women, when they have to know how to be they feel successful. And some women have so many children and they are not successful. So what is this success we all talk about? So I like to just define success again as being you. I would like every one of us to close our eyes and do this. You know where you are today, but imagine yourself where you want to be. So where do you want to be in your future? I know some of us are so young, some are still in school, some are working. So what is success to you? What is success to you? Think about it. Just take a moment to close your eyes and think about it. What will you do or what will you have been able to achieve? What are your goals that will make you think that, oh, I am successful? So can you put your hands on one or two things or three things that success means to you? All right, you can open your eyes right now. Do you know that many times we judge our lives by other people's criteria of success? So if you want to have a fulfilling life, you will judge yourself by your own definition of success, not by other people's definition of success. I'm saying this because we are in a digital era where every time you turn on your phone, you go to from one platform, social media platform to another. You see all sorts of videos and pictures. People put out there and you start judging the success based on those things you see. Should I tell you something? If you achieve your success, you may still feel your own So becoming you is achieving your own definition of success. So I'd like to tell you the story. How I found my own success. When I was in medical school, I came from a home where my parents, they, are, they were civil servants. And you know civil servants of those days, there are times that there are no salaries. I saw it in the papers that some states still experience that. So you can imagine raising a family where you don't have salary and six servants at the end of the month. And you have children, young children. So I came from that kind of family where when my parents made efforts to send me to school at the beginning of the semester, that could be the last time I'll be able to get some supply from home. And when I did need more, I may not be able to call them, not because there's no access of communication, but because I know that what they are going through at home is probably worse than what I was going through in school. So what happened? 
when my supply runs out, I'm sure some of you can relate to what I'm saying. When my supply runs out, because I know what is happening at home is really serious, I can't send what goes because I know they can't help. So as a medical student in my fourth grade level, I started thinking for the first time, what can I do to help myself? As a gorgeous, beautiful lady that I was, I had options, which includes, you know, the one I want to talk about. All right. So, I thought of it, I can't do that. So what can I do? So I was still going on with that lamp and that night. I discovered one day, because I spent with students, by the time you're done with school at 4 p.m., taking your lectures, you just take a moment of break, freshen up, have something, have something to eat, then you come back to class, read, read, read that. I hope you still read like that. <laughs> I hope you still read like that these days. And I discovered that in the whole school community at that time, by the time it's 5 p.m., there is no entry, no restaurant, nowhere you can get hot meals. You can only take the streets, which I don't really like. So I thought of it. I really get hungry in the evening. And sometimes as students don't want to go through the stress of cooking all evening, and so we want to read. So I thought of it that I had a problem. And that was there. Then I thought of it and I started researching around my friends, classmates, classmates. I discovered that so many other people had similar problems. So I thought of it. What can I do to solve this problem? And the solution I thought of was to start selling hot food meals. Yes, as a medical student. So, how did I start? I started with just four cups of rice. I think a cup is about um, maybe 200 grams. So that could send like 10 people. So I prepared this meal, served myself, of course, enjoy my meal. Because the same time I will take, it will take me to cook for myself, will probably take me to cook for 10 other people. So I just cook. I package those meals in disposable packs. So by the time I'm done, take my meal, I go back to class with my own bag of books to go read and a bag containing those packed foods to sell to my friends, first meals, and other people around. And I started that way. One thing I discovered in that journey was that it got to a point. Number one, I stopped lacking money. So I always had money. Number two, I was able to concentrate better on my studies because when you are worried, you cannot focus on school. So I was able to manage my time that way. Then what I also noticed is that with time, without standing up for my seat while reading, my friends come around, and other people come around, pick this bags, pay me money I'm still reading. You know. And because of that, I discovered that what I was supplying them was not enough. So for the first time, I discovered the need to hire hands to help me in the business. It got to a point that I had to put out vacancies for job in this new business and I hired all the ladies who needed extra cash and they are not ready to sell their body for money. At the end of every month, I went from looking for how to meet my needs to meeting my own needs and the needs of other girls. And that took me to my journey into entrepreneurship. That was my first business, doing it on my own. The business moved from selling, cooking for cups of rice to a point where we buy that rice. And I discovered that every time I pay this lady's salary, there's this joy. There's this fulfillment, there's this happiness that I feel. 
I've not been able to meet my own needs, but I'm meeting the needs of others. And you know that in this part of the world, to everyone, there are other people connected to you. And that was how I, I was able to give a source of living to Jumoke, who is the first born of other four children and the parents who must supply their needs. I was able to give a job to Abigail, a young girl that just finished secondary school, very pretty girl, and who had been roaming on the street doing wrong things. I discovered that entrepreneurship brought me to few things. Not just admitting my needs, but I'm also transforming lives. And I knew that that is what I would love to do for the rest of my life. So, by the time I finished medical school, I discovered that I would like to do this. And I started medical entrepreneurship. That gave me the few way. So much more that people tend to call me to talk to other people about this. I started consulting for other businesses, encouraging other women. At the moment, I'm training 100 women in entrepreneurship and digital technology, sponsored by the US Department of State. I found my success. So what is that thing that makes you feel fulfilled? What is that thing you saw when you closed your eyes? That's your definition of success. What makes you happy? What makes you fulfilled? What you would like to do, even when no one pays you? That is you. Thank you for listening. Okay, it was there.